What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and we're in the kitchen today. Joining me is Jellico. What's going on with you, buddy? What's up, buddy? How are we doing, man? Doing good. I appreciate you taking the time to come over here and do this. Not a problem, man. I haven't had an opportunity to really share too much about Jellico and, you know, things that he was doing in the prison, but one thing for certain that this dude did, it was one of his hustles, was making prison candy. <laughs> Jellico, talk about your prison hustle with the candy a little bit. Everybody eats candy. Everybody likes sweets. Everybody drinks coffee. Everybody has a vice, but candy seemed to be the most popular one, and it was cheap. A lollipop it was a, was only a soup, just one soup, and that's what, thirty two cents. Thirty something cents, yeah. Yeah, so that was one of the little perks. You know, I remember I used to sell you brittle all the time for stamps, and uh, it's just one of the things that uh, keep the ball rolling and uh, keep the money flowing. And it's interesting that we have these ramen soups sitting in front of us right now. These have nothing to do with the candy, but Jellico just wanted to share these. Jellico brought all of these ingredients over here. He wanted to show the ramen soups because this candy that we're gonna be making, you could buy it for different prices. Yes. Uh, but the most popular one was one piece of candy, whether that's a sucker or a little shot of brittle yeah. for a single soup or maybe right. two. Sometimes stamps because they're just easier to carry, but no one uses stamps anymore because of the uh, the emailing system and stuff like that. But yeah, that's currency. Stamps are the easiest thing to get. Yes, across the yard. Across the yard. <laughs> if you got 20 soups that you got stuffed up in your pants or in your shirt, <laughs> yeah. you might get shook down, you might lose those. The stamps are gonna be a lot easier to hide. But Jellico, let's talk a little bit about the candy that we're gonna make today. Well, the candy that I'm making is just candy that's been passed down from Generation to generation. Uh, the recipe. Yeah, the, the recipe. We're going to be making suckers out of the Jolly Rancher and the Narrowlators, and we're going to be making the brittle out of butterscotch, peanuts, peanut butter, and oatmeal. So we're going to make two different types of candy right here. We're going to make the Jellico Jolly Rancher <laughs> suckers, and we're also going to be making some peanut brittle as well. Yeah. Now, again, Jellico brought all of these things over here. I see you got the Sharpie marker on the Tupperware. Boy, you are super state strong. What are you... <laughs> I know, don't joke me, don't joke me, man. I brought, the I, brought, hat I brought the hat out tonight. So what are you doing right there? You're putting your name on it? Yeah, your... so when I come over and... Uh, you know that that's yeah. yours. Or if when you we see have some... a, Yeah, and we have something going on again, I, I know that's, that's mine. You know what I'm saying? Because in the system, it's funny because it's like mine. You know what I'm saying? Everything's yours. You know, you, tr you have your own little space. And your so, stuff, too. Yeah. And if you leave that somewhere and it doesn't have your name on it, ain't no Go way on. to... Yeah, somebody's Go gonna somebody's going to take that. So we got some Jolly Ranchers, we got some Now and Laters, and that's gonna be the suckers that we're gonna make. I see you also brought some, uh, some tang the as tang well. The tang with the flavoring, you know, the, the spice it up. Uh, we cut the bottom off this. This is, uh, we get spices in the system, and what we do is we cut this, we cut the bottom off, and we, we, we uh, it's, it's a form for the sucker. It's, yeah, okay. And we got the sticks. The Q-tips. The, the Q-tips are the sticks for the lollipop. So that's what we're going to be doing with the suckers. And like Jellico said, he's got the butterscotch, the peanuts, the peanut butter, and the oatmeal for the brittle. I don't want to waste any more time with this. Jellico, let's get into this and let's show everybody one of your prison hustles, how to make this prison candy. Okay, not a problem. So where are we starting first? We'll start with the Jolly Ranchers and the Narrowlators. It's like the easiest thing in the world to make. You can make these things with your kids. These bags, usually, they have 16 to 17 Jolly Ranchers. So, uh... Jellico <laughs> knows the count. 16 to 17 Jolly Ranchers. So, it's usually two of these, two Jolly Ranchers to one Narrowlator. That's the ratio. That's the ratio. And, uh, it's as simple, it's as simple as one, two, three. And you're taking the lids off of the peanut butter as well because that's something else that you're going to use yes. for this. Yes. You can use sometimes the bag or the lids to peanut butter to place the candy when you put it in the microwave to melt it. And so nothing gets burned up, you know. Um, sometimes the bag usually works best, but, I mean, you, you work with what you got. Sometimes you want to, you, you got to beat the rush to the, the microwave so you have four sets of candy going in there because, you know, no one wants you tying up the microwave during dinner time, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to be sitting behind the guy in the microwave who's trying to make some candy. When they're trying to get that bowl shot or that swole put together and you're tying up the microwave and the whole place smells like the candy store. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the larceny that goes into the candy as well. Ah, So you yes. got your candies out right here. I know you're getting ready to be making some candy. That's right. And I'm like, oh, hey, Jellico, what's, what's good? You, you making some candy? Yeah. Hey, look, man, uh, I'm saying I got I got two soups. You going to give me three? Can I get three for See, two? See, that's, that's the nature of the beast, though, man. The hustling, the, the, the haggling, the finagling, man, that's all part of the fun. That's the best part. You know, that 
a lot of people don't enjoy the haggling and all that stuff man i i enjoy it but that's the thing sometimes you got to give a little to get a little and some people always want to break and they never have any money. And then there's people who, who take Are, care of you all the time. You your, know what your I'm saying? valuable customers. Yes, that's it. They're valuable customers. That's so you said how many were in a bag? 16 to something? 16 to 17. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Was, Jellico was right there. <laughs> in Virginia DOC, the best gloves to use are the kitchen gloves or what the dishwashers use because they won't burn your hands. So you get one of the guys, the kitchen guys, to, to snag you a pair of blue gloves. That's why I have the blue gloves here, because uh, that's the safest way when making the, this candy in general, because you'll burn your fingers. And another thing, too, is that's, that's good business. Because if I come over and I see you making candy and you ain't got no gloves on, yeah. I'm not really well, that, going to... that's a big deal in the system, man. You know that. Man, you making some candy. You're you trying to sell some candy on the yard and you ain't got no gloves, gloves on. on. And I just watched you come out uh, the bathroom and you ain't even wash your hands. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Hey, don't buy none of Jellico's candy. That's it, man. People are cutting your nuts day in and day out, one way or another, man. That's the thing. So let's just make, like, a couple of suckers. We don't need to make a whole batch of these things, but, you know, what's the ratio of the Jolly Ranchers to the now and laters? Two to one. Two to one. Two Jolly Ranchers for one now and later. And yes, sir. let's talk about the flavors that you're using. You got your blue raspberry right here. What's that, a watermelon? That's yeah, it makes a cool color. I mean, I'm just used to it. I can just pick, yeah. Great. There's more grapes in in, in the bag than anything. Uh, a lot of people like, believe it or not, the apple. I hate the apple, but it goes good with the cherry. It looks like a Rasta color. You know what I'm saying? Or okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's what. Uh, and if you don't know what you're doing with this, you know, because you can't just go grab any old Jolly Rancher. You can't take a purple and mix it with a blue, can you? I mean, you can, but I mean, it's just. You got to have it, the right flavor combination. Yeah, that's it. That's so it. you're getting the tang pouch out right now. We've got the two Jolly Ranchers right here on the Jolly Rancher bag. Mm -hmm. Where's the tang going to go? The tang goes, once this is melted, once we put it in the microwave and it's melted, we just sprinkle a little bit on there, ball it up a little bit. The nanolators usually go in there ahead of time just to get, just to make it soft. We just throw them in there for a couple seconds because, you know, now laters are hard. Right. Just so you're going to soft. soften those up a little bit. Yeah. How many seconds in the microwave do we Man, need? That's the thing. This this is not an industrial one, so we won't have to play it by ear. You know what I'm saying? So the ones we had in the system, man, we you could cook. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we got a, we got a good little microwave right yeah, here. Here we go. All right. So uh, let's start with 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Because they'll melt real fast. You gotta see, that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta stay at the microwave. You know what I'm saying? Gotta, hey, hey, who got the microwave? What you, what you, you making candy? Look! Hey, who got next on the other microwave over there? Let me get two blue raspberries, man. I'm like, man, I can't do two blue, two blue raspberries, man. Everybody likes blue raspberries. Oh, starting to bubble up. Oh my God. That, see, that fast. That's it. That fast. <laughs> you gotta be careful. So we can do, let's do two sets at one time. You, you, you can use, usually use those, but sometimes it's just, the bag is just easier. It's easier. quicker. You get easier. in, get out. Yeah. It's easier to work with. Does this bring you back at all? Yes, it does, man. I, you know something I've always wanted to, you know, everybody always talks about, hey, man, when I get home, you know, me and my kid are going to make some candy. That's why I bought a couple extra bags, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to... Uh... You, know, you, man, you about... remember being on the yard, man, buying candy and stuff like that, man? It's just a part of doing it's, the time, yes. man. Ain't nothing like walking that track in prison, seeing Jellico. Hey, Jellico, you got some suckers on you? <laughs> or you got any coffee balls? Yeah, All right, back them. to the microwave with the Jolly Ranchers. Keep those separated. Yeah, hang on a second. It's one thing we had to do. I had to, we got to make the form real quick. I see you brought the razor to get the razor blade yeah, out. Yeah, I man, I'm doing, I'm, doing I'm doing this authentic. See, in the system, in order to cut things, you have to use a razor. In order to, to use a razor, you have to pop a razor. And anybody who's done that has probably cut their hand one a time or two. Have you cut your hand on a razor? Many a time, man. Just as simple as that. So Jellica's popping the blade, got the blade out. This is just the, the little form we're going to use to make the lollipop round. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man, I'm getting old. I don't have my glasses. No, it's all good, man. Hmm. That's the thing about being in the system. You get all the time in the world to do this. You can make sure that thing is cut perfect in there. 
Yeah, I still got a scar one time from popping a razor. Cut you deep? Yeah. <laughs> Had to go to medical. They're like, what'd you do? I, said, I got shanked on the yard. <laughs> I was popping a razor. Well, see, these aren't the heavy duty ones they give you. I bought, I bought, well, I guess we're going to have yeah, to. Yeah, let's get we're, uh, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go. Uh, we got a nice strong knife right here. There we here. go. We're going to have to cheat. See, and we get seasonings. Remember, what was it that we used to get? There was, there was. Oh, one. the Miss Dash. Miss Dash. We got the Miss Dash and stuff like that. God, I hated that stuff. <laughs> but you, it was the only thing we had, you know. So, so this is just a little form. Dress your candy up, make your candy look like some official candy. Now you're cutting a little uh, divot in there. That way you can put the stick in for the sucker. Yeah. Talk about the money that you could make from making candy because there's really not that much money. It's it? really not that much money, but there is a little bit of money on, on the back end. Brittle is the most profit. It's almost close to 250% profit on that. The thing with, uh, with candy is it's just a lot of legwork, a lot of soups. The candy, it's three bags, 82 cents a piece. So that's what, 246, right? And you get 16 pieces of candy at 30 cents a piece. You do the math. I am actually, really, <laughs> I'm actually really bad at math, Jellica. So if you were to make one batch of candy, okay, yeah, with your two bags of Jolly Ranchers and your one bag of Now and Laters, you know, what's your profit on that? It's not very it's, high. It's just like a dollar or two. Is it sometimes not, you know, because I know this is what it is. Angelica's using a pair of fingernail clippers, which you can get off a of commissary to cut these Q-tips to make the sticks for these suckers. But you know, sometimes it's not even really about the money as much as it is about the rush of just <laughs> being able to peddle something yeah, in jail. It is, I swear. Just like you, but you don't even talk about some of your hustles you had in there, man. I've been oh, the, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the epic, man. Epic. I love it. But you you got to do what you got to do. It's talk just, about the competition. Oh my gosh, store day or uh, pay week? Pay week when the whole compound gets paid because they get their state checks. Oh man, the, the competition's real. Everybody's and, making yeah, candy. Everybody's making candy. So you got the fakers in there who ain't even really making candy. They just want to dabble a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. They just want to hustle a couple bags real quick. Okay, let's go with, I'm gonna say 45 seconds on this bad boy. 45 seconds. So we got the Jolly Ranchers in the microwave right now. Jellico's got the sticks prepped for the candy. He's got the now and laters. Are they still soft? Yeah. Oh man, they're really soft. That microwave's got tinted windows on it, so it's not like at the other place where we could see what was going on in there. That's see, a fancy microwave. Yeah, see, it, we, almost, we almost overdid that one. So what we do is we get the tang. Okay, we got two pieces that are ready right now. So what you do is you just sprinkle a little bit of tang. Do, 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 do. That gives you a little extra flavor. Set it down. Talk about how hot that is, Jellica. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. And sometimes you have to let it cool down to rework it. See, sometimes the peanut butter thing is easier, but sometimes I'm just used to this way because when you're cranking out a lot of candy, it's just it's just the way it is. See? And as it cools, it becomes easier to work with, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. There we go. Do, 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 do. So that's two Jolly Ranchers right there. Two Jolly Ranchers. We have our now or later. We got the purple now and later. Purple now and later. We have our stick, and we go over here to our little stencil that we made. Our little stencil? <laughs> Let's get a nice shot of this, because this is going to be really cool right here. Now, what you call that candy, Jellico? Because everybody's got a name for their candy. Well, you know, everybody, yeah. Hey, man, I got them official. Uh, yeah, uh, I yeah. got them blood pops yeah. right here. Well, a lot of people will make it with Starburst or whatever, you know, the high dollar Starburst or, you know. But that's not what, the right way to hustle, though, because yeah. you're investing way too much into yes, a product. Yeah, yeah, the Starbursts were expensive. The Starbursts were expensive, so. And there you go. And then, if, then right here, what I did was I ganked some. This is, this is how you get 
saran wrap in the system. They usually have it in staff dining, so you, what you gotta do is you gotta get a kitchen guy to, to get it. And you just get you a little piece like this. Did you work in staff dining at yes, Indian I Creek? Did. Yes, I did. I remember that. Thing looks like it's straight off the shelf in the store. <laughs> and voila. So how much is that going for right there, Jellico? That's a soup, bro. One soup. That's that looks one. like a... And you know what's funny about this, too? You always got to keep this in mind. This is prison we're talking about. Everybody's got some larceny with them. So, Jellico, let's talk about the reason why this lollipop is really made to be this big and this flat. It, it's supposed to look bigger. Look bigger. That's right. That's why I use the stencil. I always use the stencil because you can flatten it out and make it look big. So it looks like you put four pieces of candy instead of three. <laughs> I mean, that's the way you gotta do it right yeah. there. Well, let's see what this is hitting on right here, Jellico. We're gonna give this the good old taste test. I mean, it's obviously gonna taste good. But for one single ramen noodle soup, you can't beat this. You can suck on this all day long. It's not really a good idea to be sucking on things while you're in prison, but everybody's walking around with a little Jellico Jolly Rancher sucker. Mm. Hey, man. That's really good. That's good. That's real good. Cody, you want some of this? <laughs> make a couple dollars but you just keep the ball rolling that's the thing man there's so much going on in the system between parlay tickets you know the dunts or you know cigarettes or you know ski legs don't whatever whatever it is that anybody's getting into so it's just it's all currency it's, it's something to do it's something to do to pass the time it gives you a, a little bit of something to get excited about you're sitting here making candy and you got you a hustle everybody's got to stay busy while locked up and this was only one of many things yeah. that Jellico had his hands in yeah, while I, locked up. I used to sew. I used to sell sandwiches from staff dining. I used to shine boots. I used to iron clothes. People used to be like, man, I can't believe you do that. I'm like, man, you do what you got to do, bro. That's you the hustle, that? man. That's the hustle. See, back in the day of visitation day when you could wear your state blues and stuff like that, Getting, getting sharp to see your old lady. Sure, you had a bunch of, you had a bunch of old ladies coming there toward the there end. There was many a time when old Joe was looking fly walking up to that visitation room. <laughs> Ever tell you that story about what happened to me on uh, 4th of July when the girl came and seen me and her face was Oh, bleak? dude, I remember that. I saw her during visitation. She tripped outside and she had a scab on her face and still came to see you. It wasn't a scab. It was a full-blown laceration. <laughs> this thing was leaking. I walked into that visitation room, Jellico. <laughs> Were you in there? I was in there. I was like, oh my God, because I didn't know who she was. Because you'd had a bunch of randoms. She was a beautiful woman, wasn't she? <laughs> so the chick comes and sees me. It's 4th of July. Surprise visit. They call my name. I'm excited. I'm thinking it's anybody. It's my mom. It's my dad. It's my long lost whoever. <laughs> the, one that, the one that got away, that Jody got away with. I walk in here and I see this girl because she had, I think, just recently started to come see me. I think she might have seen me one time I prior thought, to that. I thought that was your first time seeing her. So I thought, I really remember no, it. Being... But it was right there near the first time. It was probably like the second time. She, she was sitting down. When I walked into that visitation room, I sat, I saw her. I saw what her face looked like with the blood coming down it. And I sat at the table. And this is what I did, Jellico. I'll never forget this for as long as I live. I said, Holy sh! And she had the big ass burger sitting right there. So I did it like this. I said, "Holy sh!" As I'm unwrapping the burger. <laughs> oh man, I remember those days being able to eat chicken and all that stuff during visitation. What yeah. happened to your face? <laughs> and bless her soul, this girl. She, I don't, she tripped out front, right? Yeah, she, right. Tri she tripped out front. She fell off the curb and landed with her. She said, <laughs> "I fell. I tripped over a curb or a parking." thing and I, I i i fell and i said oh my god <laughs> did you did you catch yourself with your face i mean did you did you use your hands at all that was funny i felt bad yeah because i think the same the same day i got linked up with the girl that you linked me up with oh yeah through, through the old prison hustle that was an awesome hustle it was it was good I forgot about that, Jellico. You were actually a customer yeah, of mine. Yeah, I was. There was only one person that didn't that didn't uh, that that didn't uh, strike from the fishing. Do you remember who it was? McDuff. Oh. McDuff. Wow. McDuff didn't strike because he did the Christian aspect. He was trying to. Oh, that's we, right. We were, we were online dating. I mean, we were. I, I had Tinder in prison. Yes, he Before did. There was that was ever... the best hustle, I, mean, I, had to, I have to admit. That, and that I was... had a success rate of like 99%. Yes, it was bad. Yeah, I had a girl come see me. I had a girl come write me. 
Dudes were having chicks send them money. Yeah, bro, you 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 struck there, bro. You know, I was actually just telling. I went to get my hair cut today, and I was telling the woman who was cutting my hair about that situation. And anyways, I said, you know, I, she was watching a show on TV about prison. She was telling me about that and about how um, people were getting pen pals and shit. Something on the TV show. I said, let me tell you the craziest story that I remember <laughs> from the prison pen pal days. Yeah. There was a girl one time that wrote to Miko. Remember Miko? Yeah. Wrote to my one of my friends and said to him, first letter, okay? You know you want to make a good first impression. This girl wrote to him and said, hey, I want to have your baby. Send that in the mail. <laughs> You can't make this type of stuff up. That was yeah. one of the craziest things I'd ever seen. So, Jellica, you got your little sucker right there. Yeah, there we go. All right. We've That's made some candy, or we made some Jellico Jolly Rancher suckers right here. Right on. Some official prison lollipops. Jellico, let's go ahead and move on to the, the, the peanut brittle. All right. Peanut brittle. Main ingredient is butterscotch. Uh, used to be 80 cents. The, the bag in the system holds 22 butterscotch. So you can use one bag of butterscotch, two or three, all depending. We got plenty here. They have a yellow, they have a yellow wrapper and they have a clear wrapper. The one with the yellow wrapper is the better one. I just straight like spit all over myself. That's how that's how good this is. <laughs> so th this one is the best ratio to money because the p jar of peanut butter was two ninety. The two bags of butterscotch are eighty and eighty. So. And you can reuse the peanut butter, and you can you can get between eight and eleven dollars depending on how, how much money you're trying to make or how long you're trying to stretch it. Yeah, and it's all about how you break it up too. Some yeah. guys will cut slabs, yeah, which are like a dollar, sometimes even more than that. Yeah. Some guys will actually make the same thing as a coffee ball, which is just a little <laughs> bag corner of coffee. They might even give you a, a sugar and a, a shot of creamer with that, depending on how much they're trying to really dress it up and how much money they're trying to get from you. But I've seen guys make butterscotch, I mean, not butterscotch, uh, peanut brittle shots. Yeah, the little soup shots. I'm like, what the heck is that? I remember you, when you used to draw, you would be used to be in your cut, and you used to call me over all the time, and you'd always have stamps. And I used to love that, because I used to, I used to help run the parlay. So it was just easier to uh, carry those across the yard. We got about 40 butterscotch right here. The best oatmeal to use, this is the same exact oatmeal they have in the system, believe it or not. The, the oatmeal is two ninety, and you just got that from the dollar store for a dollar. Yes, yes, I did. Well, but, you uh, do the that. brown, the brown sugar, the brown sugar oatmeal, maple and brown sugar. Now you don't have to use the oatmeal. No, it doesn't. It just gives it, it just gives it a texture. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one, Jellico. I, and I'm gonna. My personal opinion is it definitely gives it a texture. It definitely gives it some flavor. It gives it a stretch game. <laughs> but it's <laughs> this is how you make this peanut brittle go a lot further. Same thing with this. The peanuts used to cost 60 cents, and you can put them in two batches or you can put them in one. So what you do is you crunch them up, so you when you flatten it out, it'll stretch longer. So what are you gonna use? You're gonna use a half a bag or a whole bag? I'm gonna use the whole bag in this one. What about the guys that were making the peanut brittle with the uh, with the yeah, Oreo? Yeah, yeah, those, those those some of those are really good, but they're costly. I mean, it just cuts into the profit. It does. I mean, p people buy candy just because. People like buying stuff that they're not supposed to have. And that's an interesting point that you bring up, they're not supposed to have, because what you're doing right here, when you put two ingredients together that you they- take it at its normal state. That's, that's technically- It's contraband at that point. Yes. They'll sell you a ramen soup and they'll sell you some oatmeal. But, but put you, those two- put th it together in a bag. That's a contraband, contraband charge. The way to spread it out is you get a normal chip bag. We usually have Cactus Annie, but I went to three dollar stores and I couldn't find any Cactus Annie bags. Boy, I, I'm telling you, I went to the extreme when I was trying to get the accurate ingredients. Like even the peanuts, the, there was planters is what we used. And the peanut butter was a different peanut butter. The bag of Jolly Ranchers just looks different, but I mean, it has the same amount. It was Keefy peanut butter, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. I remember it had a yellow top. I don't, I don't remember. Speaking of, do you still have that Keefe Yellow Bag? That's what I, that's what I brought the soups over for. Did I've you, got the Keefe Yellow Bag. You want to you yeah, shout a call? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. And all depending on how soft or how much you want to stretch your peanut butter is depending on how much peanut butter you put in there. I used to make mine soft because it would stretch. 
and I, I could get extra peanut butter from staff dining. But some of the older gentlemen in the system, they can't eat peanut brittle. And believe it or not, older gentlemen like peanut brittle. They, older gentlemen like sweets. Jellico, did you just say that old men liked you? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I used to make my peanut brittle. Oh my, that is so awesome, bro. Ooh, this video is brought to you by the Keefe Yellow Where's Bag the Instant Coffee. I need a plastic cup. I was oh, we looking. ain't doing no plastic cups, Jelly. Come on, dude. We out here in the free world. Matter of fact, we about to drink us some prison Starbucks right here. Got the, the Starbucks cups. Hey, you got a shot of coffee. That's why I brought the soups, bro. That's why I brought you the soups. <laughs> here you go, man. Help yeah. yourself. Wow. I'm telling you, man, something about yellow bag in the system. My God, Jellica. Oh, I, remember what I, I remember what I used to take. It was a scoop and a half. I don't need all that. A scoop and a half should last, last you about six days. <laughs> if no one's drinking on your bag. <laughs> oh, you're talking about one bag of coffee? Yeah. How many cups of coffee you drink in a day? Well, it all depends. If you got money, you, you, you can drink three. But if you don't, you usually drink about one and a half. Yeah. All right, so what you got going on right there while this gets cooking? See, that's the thing that I, that's what I was explaining to Cody. Uh, I, I heard you saying about how stiff or how soft that you want it. Yeah, and I used to make the peanut butter soft because the older gentleman. They ain't got no teeth. Yeah, exactly. Like Shiflet. <laughs> yeah. How big of a customer was Shiflet for you? Uh, he used to like the lollipops. He used to like the lollipops. But that's the thing. See, you got to be careful when you're making this. So if you try this at home, be careful. As soon as those butterscotch melt, they will melt your plastic bowl. I bought a bowl because this is basically the type of bowl we use in the system. So you got to keep an eye on it or you melt your bowl and all your candy and all your profits gone. What you want to do is you want to melt it, take it out, and then you mix it. Then you put it back in and you let it rise almost all the way to the top. Not too much because you don't want it to burn. You just want it to rise just a little bit. So how long in the microwave? Uh, I'm going to say this one at a minute. So a minute? Yeah, I'm going with a minute. I got your coffee right there too, Jellico. Oh, right on, bro. Right on. I hope I got the right cup and I didn't switch cups with you. You ain't put, no, you ain't put nothing in it. What you need in it? This is that keefe. You got to drink this cowboy status. No, I meant you ain't put no water in it. Oh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> Taking you back right there? Yeah, man, when Canteen used to come in, man, these are happy memories right there, bro. Canteen day would come in, I used to put my bag there before I paid the store box off or whoever I owed for what. Drink you, me a cup of coffee first. Were you there when the, uh, when the commissary broke down? When the bubble sheet scanner broke down? Yeah, it was down for like two weeks. And dudes were freaking Trippin'. out. No coffee? A single shot of coffee, a coffee ball that used to be, what, a soup? Yeah. That thing was upwards of $2. Inflation, <laughs> Inflation hit the prison. Inflation, I'm telling you. Inflation hit the prison real See, tough. See, the peanut butter just melted here. So I, I don't want to test the bowl here. So I'm just mi mixing it up just a little bit. Usually only takes two times, but I don't know these plastic you bowls here. So I'm just playing it safe. So back when I used to make the brittle, because I learned how to do it as well. I would mix, I would melt the butterscotch first. And really? then And then begin to add the other ingredients. You know, you're... Yeah, uh, yeah you take the chance of burning your bowl, man. Whoop. Well, I'm trying to tell you, that Keurig stuff ain't got nothing. That Starbucks <laughs> stuff ain't got nothing on this keepy. There we go. She's getting there. See that? Mm. And that She's smells... Getting... That smells She's... really good. See? It's melting just a little bit. Just mix it up a little bit. See, and this is what I'm talking about, tying up the microwave in the system. Yo, man, I'm trying to tell you, I'm just trying to cook this soup, I'm just Jellico. trying to warm up my coffee, man. I'm, I'm not... just trying to warm up my coffee, bro. Some dudes will drink the same cup of coffee all day, day long. long. Warm that thing up ten times throughout the day. Mm. That's good. Coffee was a drug in there. Straight up. All right, this is the third time in the microwave. Jellico, can I get this microwave for like yeah. two minutes, See, here man? here you go. That's what you're looking for, right there. See, nothing sticks to the side. You just got to mix it up right there. Oh, that's that, uh, that's that peanut butter beige right there. You yeah. making peanut butter, though? <laughs> hey, hey, look, I get, I get my state check in three months. <laughs> I know, right? Three months, I get my state check. <laughs> I ain't got no job yet, but I'm trying to tell you. That's the way it works, man. So how would you break yours up? I'm sure you're going to show us yeah, that. Yeah, I do. I do mine. I do the slabs every time. You can do 
You can do the slabs every time on Boy. your cactus ante. Yeah, that bowl's hot. And I know that is scorching right there. Then you get your soda can. You got a little. Yeah, I know, it's a little. That's a taste tester. And everybody's like, yo, let me get a sample of that, man. Hey, let me get a let me, let me get a sample of that, yo. You got some uh you got some freebies. <laughs> and you wanna get that thin. Jellico ain't trying to make that thick brittle, Jellico trying <laughs> to make some money. That's right, man. Alright, that shouldn't take no time. But while it's warming up. Or while it's cooling down. Oh yeah, excuse me, yeah. While it's cooling down is when you cut it. This will take a second to cool off. But you want to cut it while it's cooling. Because you can't cut it any other way. Should be, it usually goes from end to end, but like I said, it, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. But let you be locked up again, it's going to come right <laughs> back to you. Usually uh, 40 pieces of candy and a, a decent spoon will make eight pieces, eight slim pieces, well, excuse me, eight fat pieces or nine slim. See here, my math, my math's off right here. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I cheated myself at a dollar. That's gonna bother you, so. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated myself out of a dollar. But yeah, takes a little second, and you gotta move it around. See, because it's warm here. You move around. Remember, you used to set it on your rack, mm. so you move it from here to here. But yeah. So we're gonna let this the cool off. Then we're gonna get a chance to see what this is hitting on. So is it, you said this is gonna be more soft than. Um, I mean, it's not. It's not gonna be. So, I'm just easier to bite into. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be soft. Some guys like that hard brittle. Yeah, they do. And look, this is already hard enough to where you know it's not. You gotta cut it immediately. But that's what I'm saying. If you just break it, score it once. You, oh, you, you know, can it'll break, break it. it off. It'll break off. Well, she's coming together now. Cody, you gonna try some of this brittle right here? Yeah. Some of this Jellico exclusive. Folks, we've had Jellico come over here, and I really appreciate you going out of your way because not only did you come over here, you went to the store first to go buy all of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, man, I really wanted to be accurate too, man. I went to a couple stores, man, but they don't, God, it made me mad. I was trying to get it to be 100% accurate, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, but with the Jolly Ranchers and stuff like that, you can't go wrong. See, we used Tang and the Jolly Ranchers and now so th those lollipops are 100% are right there, buddy. Well, with this being that each slab is a dollar, yeah. let's talk about where the, what kind of a dollar you're looking for. If I come at you with a with a soup and a stamp, is that a dollar? Yeah, soup and a stamp's a dollar all day. Is it? You can play a parlay with that. A soup and a stamp, soup and a stamp, that's 80 cents. 80 cents is a dollar. What and about a... 79 cents is not a dollar in the system. And that's what I was about to bring up with... Irish the, Spring the, is ex not a dollar. No one wants Irish Spring. That's the craziest thing. Irish Spring is 79 cents. It's a bar of soap. You would imagine guys would want that high. No one item. wants the Irish Spring. But that is bad money on the poker table, on the yep. parlays. If you owe for something and you try to bring a guy 10 bars of Irish Spring, oh, he's telling you right then and there. Oh, yeah. That's seven. That's seven. That's uh, $7.90 stick, man. Yeah, or somebody comes to you with the, the, the denture cream, the little $8 denture cream. Or Don't the, nobody want that. Or, or the, uh, the, the Tylenol. No one wants that. See, look. Mm. Still needs a little bit. Still need just a little bit. Gosh, oh so my, this is bringing me back right here. I'm ready to go commit a felony. Jelly, Jelly, uh, you damn man. <laughs> Take this back on the inside, man. We're gonna make a killing this time. So this is how you wrap them up. You got your saran wrap. Yeah, this saran wrap's not working very well, but. But we get the point. Yeah, sometimes in the system, they don't, there's no bags, you know what I'm saying? So we had to work with, I was looking for plastic gloves, plastic ki kitchen gloves today, but I couldn't find any anywhere, so. Oh yeah, they're hard to find. I've, I've searched for them for, a long time. Mm, yeah, straight out. <laughs> Boy, Jellico just bring me back to the <laughs> days. Oh, I was sitting in my bunk. Hey, Jellico! Ah, I know, right? Hey, Jellico, come here real uh, quick. You used to be sitting on your bed drawing uh, that one uh, cartoon figure, the, the cartoon character guy you made up. Oh, yeah. With, well, with, with, with uh, one wing. Mm hmm. I would see this guy running around 100 miles an hour all day long. Jeans, I would buy jeans and sell them. I would buy the flicks off you and sell them. 
for a profit, I would, yeah. Just kept the ball rolling. And you know something else that you did that don't got nothing to do with hustling? Volleyball. Was the volleyball. <laughs> I was reminded of that the other day. I was thinking volleyball. about it. Volleyball. Volleyball, thinking. softball. Man, see this hat right here? This hat's been a long way with me, buddy. Some people joke me. See, I still got my shower shoes. Look, look at this. Check the tag. What does that tag say? <laughs> Enterprise. Man, I, I, st a... I still got state stuff, man. I mean, I came home with nothing. Like, I wear my watch. I got it in the system. People say, why do you wear that watch? I say, so I can remember the time. They say, so you can know the time you mean? I say, no, so I can remember the time that I was in the system. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a cell phone, but I just, I just keep it. Just because. You got to remind yourself daily of just little things, man. Just like right now, we're, we're laughing at this now. But this is how we used to make, this is how I used to survive, man. I'm not laughing at this. Cause this shit is so good. Go give me a camera. Watch this. I'm gonna show y'all. Cody, I want you to try this right here. And on a scale of one to ten, I want you to tell me what this tastes like. That looks really good. <laughs> well, Jellico, I appreciate you coming over here taking the time to show us how to make the candy that you used to make because this was a big part of how you got through your time, yeah. how you survived, what kept you busy. And it don't get any more official than this. We've made these types of candies somewhat in the past. I've made peanut brittle. But the peanut brittle I've made, for whatever reason, it just ain't as good as this. I mean, that, that be honest with you, man, that was my hustle. I used to sell porn and brittle. <laughs> People used to joke me. I was like, porn and brittle? What the heck is that? <laughs> Hey, look, you want some, uh, you want, you want some, some porn or you want some brittle, man? <laughs> Which one you want? <laughs> Jellico, I appreciate you taking the time, brother. Not a problem, man. And look, if you guys want to try this, I think we explained this pretty easily on how to make this. Let us know if you make this, what you guys think. But until next time, that's it. And uh, I'll be looking forward to doing something else with you right again on, brother. real soon.